Students from Children's Community School in Waterbury, Connecticut work with teaching artist Jenna Roth to learn about science concepts and vocabulary through art making, design, and engineering. They dyed their own yarn using natural resources such as turmeric, avocado, and beetle, and wove their yarn onto hand-painted looms, exploring repeated patterns and painting techniques. The student groups were asked to design, diagram, engineer, and build a machine or textile to fix a worldwide problem. Watch closely. You have your weft yarn. Everybody has a blue needle with your yarn tied on to your needle. Okay, this is a needle. It's not very sharp, but it's a little bit sharp, so you have to be careful with it. When you start weaving, you're going to go over your first yarn, you're going to go under your second yarn, you're going to go over your third yarn, Today, me and my two friends, Juliana and Ariely, we made a fabric and it shows flowers and lily pads because we're supposed to help amphibians not digest or go and contaminate. And this week was really fun and really, really, really messy. It's like the pink and yellow flowers are like next to each other. So he alternated pink, yellow, pink, yellow. My students are working on the water cycle. We, um, we've been studying rain and snow, and this has brought it more to life for them than reading out of the book. They have really enjoyed it and learned more out of the lesson than I could possibly teach. My idea for, for my project is to grab all of the pollution and grab all of them of the, the bad pollution out so the, the earth doesn't get infected with some some other stuff and and everything so nobody dies. visit to Flanders Nature Center in March gave students the chance to learn about the process of maple syrup making. They made pancakes from local and organic ingredients and created beautiful paintings using the collection of natural objects found at the land preserve. Exactly. In May, the students took a trip to Weantanong Heritage Land Trust at Cobblebrook in Kent, where they learned about Connecticut endangered species and studied stream ecology by collecting samples from the river and assessing the data. They learned how fish are raised and released fish into the river. Artist Jenna Robb brought art into nature tie-dyeing t-shirts with the students using water from the river. These hands-on experiences help students to connect to their school subjects and the natural world in a personal way. <laughs>